going on, guys? It's Scott from Neverhead back for another DWAC update. And uh, chart is looking pretty strong today, much better than uh, yesterday. We've already got over 31 million in volume so far today. We've got over an hour and a half left in trading. Right now, we are up 10, a little over 10% right now, going back and forth between the high nines, low tens. And I thought that uh, once we hit 52. 77 we were going straight back down to 45 to fill that gap but nope fuck that right back up Brr, looks to be a little cup maybe we'll see a handle uh, forming right now trading above the 50 ema lines although uh, that is not going to be a great indicator for this we only really have uh, about a month less than a month of activity to go on here but the rsi is looking much healthier today up to 56.62 and MACDs are looking pretty solid. There we go, going right back up here. And we have quite a bit to get to, so let's keep rolling. Uh, they did just release options on this, uh, so we'll check those out on Chart Exchange, see what the volume is on these. Here it looks like we have oh, quite a few puts came in yesterday at the $50 strike price and a shocking number of calls here at 140 and these uh, expire November 19th we can see here max pain is sitting right now at 95 so I would not be surprised if we hit that $95 mark on November 19th but this stock does not behave like most other ones so who the hell knows what's going to happen and we're looking at 10,952 calls out of the money right now 986 in the money and the ones that are in the money must have been pretty expensive if you're getting yeah, $65 calls oh 11 bucks $40 calls <laughs> costing you 22 oh boy and this thing is being pretty heavily shorted uh, we do have some data in here for yesterday we got total short volume is 50 percent of the total volume traded got another 30.83 coming in on the dark pool dark pool volume for today is at 42.73 percent of the total volume traded here and it looks like we are up a little bit more yeah tons of volume coming in we had another uh, six almost seven million more shares coming through and I want to show you a couple things here on Ortex We don't have a ton to go off of but utilization right now sitting at 100 percent Cost to borrow right now super high at almost 35 uh, percent To borrow and free float on loan way up a chain up to 12.91 uh, percent a change of 760.67 percent over the previous week now a lot of this is because there you know before last week there was really zero volume on this and then we've had probably close to a billion shares traded in the last week so there's going to be some crazy shit going on with this and we do have an 8k from dwac came out last night uh, this is their basic uh, merger agreement so this is starting to smell a little bit less like a pump and dump now that they got this 8k out they're actually seemingly looking like they're going to go through with it and this this bit right here the earn out is uh, very interesting it's something i haven't seen in too many other companies but it is definitely not unheard of uh, let's go over it briefly here. In addition to the merger consideration set forth above, the TMTG stockholders will also have a contingent right to receive up to an additional 40 million shares of DWAC common stock after the closing based on the price performance of the DWAC common stock during the three-year period following the closing. Uh, the earnout shares shall be earned and payable during the earnout period as follows. If the VWAP of DWAC, say that five times fast, Common stock equals or exceeds $15 per share for any 20 day, 20 trading days within any 30 day period. The purchaser shall issue to the TMTG shareholders an aggregate of 15 million earnout shares. If the VWAP of DWAX common stock 
equals or exceeds $20 per share for any trading days within any 30-day period. The purchaser shall issue TMTG stockholders an aggregate of 15 more million shares. The VWAP of the DWAC common stock equals or exceeds $30 per share for any 20 days within any 30 per, per purchaser shall issue the TMTG stockholders an aggregate of 10 million more shares. If there is a final determination that the TMTG stockholders are entitled to receive earnout shares, then such earnout shares will be allocated pro rata amongst TMTG shareholders. The number of DWAC common stock constituting any earnout payment shall be equitably equitably adjusted for stock splits, stock dividends, combinations, recapitalizations, and the like after the closing. Okay, this is also very important. So termination of the merger, the merger agreement may be terminated under certain certain customary and limited circumstances at any time prior to closing, including by mutual written consent of DWAC and TMTG, uh, by either DWAC or TMTG, if any of the following conditions to the closing have not been satisfied or waived by September 20, 2022, provided that DWAC shall have the right to extend the outside date if it obtains an extension of the deadline by which it must complete its business combination extension for an additional period at the shortest of three months. There's quite a few different uh, ways that this merger could not go through. Looks like they have until September 20th, 2022 to get it done. If they don't get it done by then, then uh, they'll have another three months of extended time. And then if that if they don't get it done by then, then uh, it's bye-bye DWAC. All right, one more interesting thing to get to. This is from FX Hedge on Twitter. Quoting Axios, the host of the Trump social media platform is expecting more than 75 million users. Of course they are. That's at least what they're planning for. Yeah, the, uh, the true social... Everyone's just going to be posting, let's go, Brandon, in their feed. That's all it is. And the com <laughs> the comment threads on the Reddit posts of DWAC are maybe a, a little taste of uh, some things we can expect in Truth Social. Enjoy being a sheep, you fucking tool. Oh, my God. You bought shares in a business run by Trump in 2021. You're literally covered in Trump's jizz. Dripping. All right, so we'll address Jay Honkas saying there's 1 billion users on TikTok. I think they have uh, quite a bit more than a billion users as of right now. Uh, it's, I think it's closer to like 1.1 1 .1 and a quarter billion or something, but TikTok is for everyone, <laughs> not just uh, conservatives, whereas True Social doubt you're going to find any Biden voters on there. You might find uh, some undercover New York Times r reporters uh, who will then complain that there are unfettered conversations and conspiracy theories taking place on uh, Truth Social and that they need to shut it down because the New York Times is the only one that you're allowed to get information from or, or some sort of crybaby argument like that. A lot of Let's Go Brandon uh, comments on these threads here. But uh, that is just about going to do it for this one, guys. That's all I got for today. Uh, so as always, guys, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more updates on DWAC as well as other stocks and tokens we like. And I thank you guys so much for watching this far, and I'll see you in the next video.